Hello everyone. FTP stands for File Transfer Protocol. It has been a standard method for transferring files between computers for decades. Although security measures have been added, FTP is by nature an insecure method for transferring files. However, it can be useful when making files available to multiple users or when working in a secure or private network. If you are looking to install a simple FTP server, then VSFTPD is the best choice. VSFTPD stands for Very Secure FTP Daemon Software Package. It is relatively easy software utility to use for creating an FTP server. Now we are going to install it through this command. Once it is installed successfully, then you will need to start its service. Here is the command to restart the VSFTPD service. And also set it to launch when the system boots through this command. Okay, the next step is to create a rule for your firewall to allow FTP traffic on port 21. If you use a different firewall application, refer to the documentation to configure it connect correctly for port 21. Also, some FTP clients use port 20, so you may wish to include that rule as well. Simply copy the first line and replace 21 with 20. The behavior of the FTP service on your server is determined by the VS FTP configuration file. So before starting, Create a copy of the default configuration file through this command. This ensures that you have a way to return to the default configuration in case you change a setting that may cause issues. Next, edit the configuration file with the following command. I am using a nano editor. You can use your favorite editor to edit this configuration file. By default, the value for anonymous enable equals to no. Set your FTP server to disable anonymous users and allow local users. This is an important step. Anonymous access is a risky. You should avoid it unless you understand the risks. Next, allow a logged in user to upload files to your FTP server. By default, this line starts with a hash sign to indicate it's a comment. Commenting is a useful way to turn commands on and off. The hash sign can also be used to make notes in the file without the systems interpreting them as instructions. Uh, you can limit FTP users to their own home directory. This is often called a jail or chroot jail.
for test purpose the allow writer with ch root and suggest option will create a functioning ftp server that you can test and use some administrators advocate the use of the user subtoken option for better security the vs ftpd utility provides a way to create an approved user list to manage users this way you can find the value user list underscore enable and give it a yes value to this or next you can give its path The user list deny option lets you specify users to be included. Setting it to yes would change the list to users that are blocked. Once you are done with this configuration, you can save the file and then restart the activity service. To create a new FTP user, you can use this command. And also set its password to this command. Now you can add the, this new user to the user list file to this command. Create a new directory for the new user and then adjust its permissions. This creates a home test user directory for the new user with a special directory for uploads. It sets permission for uploads only to the uploads directory. Now you can log into your FTP server with the user you have created. You can also use any other FTP client to connect it. 